Hi, minus 18 here in Wyoming. So, ah, can't get outside unless I want to freeze to death. So, I'm going to do five hiking courtesies. Stick around. We'll see what I got. Okay, my five hiking courtesies. I, these may not be everybody's for sure, I'll tell you that. Um, from what I've seen on the trail, it's, it's not everybody's. But these are my five hiking courtesies. Number one, leave no trace. Everybody knows this rule. Most of us follow it. Some do not. Okay, if you pack it in, pack it out. Okay, take your trash out. Uh, and if you find trash along the trail, if you can, if you can, if you got room in your pack or you're not gonna be on the trail for three or four days, pick it up, pack it out. Let's, uh, let's keep our, our wilderness areas and wild areas wild, okay? Also, if you have to do your business on the trail, you know what I'm talking about, number one, number two. If you have to do that on the trail, dig a hole and bury it. Bury your wipings, clean up after yourself, and for God's sake, do it away from the trail. Leave the trail, get off the trail 100 feet or more, do it off trail. Okay? Um, also, don't leave uneaten food along the trail. All this does is bring in predators and uh, uh, some scavengers. Stuff we don't need on the trail that you may surprise and not have a good result. So, number two. I'm oh, sorry about my nose running. I have allergies all winter long, all summer long. <laughs> I gotta deal with them. Number two, share the trail. You're gonna be sharing your trail with horses and bicycles, and if you're on a motorized trail, with motorized vehicles, four-wheelers, motorcycles, Jeeps, stuff like that. I try to hike non-motorized trails, but sometimes a motorized trail is the best one to take, and that's what you gotta do. And um, some people aren't very courteous. Uh, other ones are. Uh, horses, horses try and be courteous to horse riders coming down the trail. Move off the trail. Uh, preferably, well, I should say, uh, downhill on the downslope side of the trail, if there is a downslope side of the trail. Don't get above the horse. That just spooks them. Get on the downside of the trail and stop walking until the horses pass. That way there's, there's no issues with uh, the horses getting all uppity and it's maybe throwing a rider um be courteous be courteous um bicycles um the thing with bicycles is uh, not so much the bicycles uh, a bicycle coming up behind you will usually warn you before he goes around uh if if he's noticed that you haven't heard him or something like that 
but when you get to the crest of a hill or a very blind curve be careful and move to the side of the trail because a downhill bike is going to be coming pretty quick and if you're in the middle of the trail you may get run over and just do this also at the crest of a hill or a blind curve you may surprise a large animal that you don't want to surprise so keep that in mind okay um number three announce your presence uh, what i mean by this is don't hike completely silent now if you're hiking with somebody yeah you're going to be making noise you're going to be talking you're going to have gear rattling stuff like that but if you're hiking by yourself particularly in bear country like most of what i do around here is all bear country uh, make some noise periodically uh, when you're moving along the trail and uh, preferably make a noise that's metallic. Metallic sounds are not natural in nature. And this will alert either people or animals that you're coming in case they did not hear you. Okay, that's number three. Number four, trail maintenance this is a biggie for me because I volunteer with the Forest Service for this kind of thing trail maintenance now I'm not saying go out there and cut up big trees that are down all over the trail and stuff like that small stuff take a few minutes and move it small limbs drag them off the trail um, small trees that fall down across the trail almost everybody carries an axe or a saw with them Take a few minutes, cut it up, move it off the trail. On the big stuff, report it to who's responsible for the trail. Where I hike most of the time, it's either BLM, Bureau of Land Management, or the Forest Service. And I contact the trail coordinator and let them know where the problems are. Signs that are down, uh, large trees that have fell across the trail. Any bridges that are in bad disrepair or even washed out. Um, trail maintenance, I think, is, is a good thing that we all can contribute to without a whole lot of effort. So I think it's a good idea. And last but not least, number Five. hiking with animals particularly dogs and I don't know of anybody that hikes with their cat but they may um, but dogs clean up after your dogs I know horses go on the trail too but there's not much we can do about that but your dog droppings smell as bad as human waste on the trail. Um, bury it. Just get rid of it. And most of all, with dogs, control your dogs. If your dogs get out of your sight, they can surprise other hikers, and either the dog can get hurt or the hiker can get hurt. Not only that, in bear country, in cougar country, they surprise a bear or a cougar, and the bear or cougar attacks, they're going to run right back to you. And then you're going to have to deal with an animal that's upset. So, those are my five. What I'd like to see is... Uh, if you have others, post them below in the comments. I would like to see those. Um, I'm sure we all have little petty peeves that we don't like. 
and, and it can easily be corrected with a little courtesy. So keep that in mind. So this is Max. Till next time. Bye for now. Thank you.